Good morning, class. I'm Mr. Crimson Lacosta, your instructor for today. Before we start, anyone can lead the player. Dear God, the creator of heaven and earth, we are here today in this school seeing knowledge and wisdom of Jesus. We are grateful for this wonderful day and we learn new things from our instructor. Before we start, uh, I have my own rules in my subject that we should follow during our discussion. First, I don't want to hear any voices while I'm discussing. Second, always raise your, raise your hand when you have a question or know the answer. Third, always clean your trash and check your surroundings. Let's have a trivia. What you learn is yours forever. The beautiful things about this learning is that nobody can take away from you. Today we'll be discussing is about basic tools and materials in electrical installation and maintenance. Basic electrical tools and materials. Basic electrical tools. Elec electrical tools are used to work on electrical system to save time, effort, and resources. Not every job will be required, especially tools, but using the right tool for the job will be make all difference. The first step in determining the electrical tools, you will need to determine what tasks you need to be completed. Yung basic electrical tools daw, uh, ito yung ginagamit pag nag, ano tayo, mga nag-wiring, ganun, mga ginagamit sa pagkabit ng mga kurente sa bahay, ganun. Hand tools. Screwdrivers. These tools are made in steel, hardener, and tempered at the tip used to, lo to loosen or tighten screws with slotted heads. They came to various sizes and shapes. Example of screwdriver. Standard and flat, flat screwdriver. Philip screwdriver. Stubby screwdriver. Allen screwdriver or wrench. Ginagamit ko ang screwdriver sa paghigpit ng tornillo or pagluwag ng tornillo para mahigpitan po or paluwagin. Hammers. These are tools used to driving or pounding and out of nails. These are made or hard steel, wood, plastic, or rubber. Meron tayong claw hammer, mallet, rubber head, or ball pen hammer. Ito po yung martilyo na nagbabaon sa pako. Um, meron po siyang gawa sa bakal, sa kahoy, or sa plastic na rubber. Liars. These are made in metal with insulator in this handler and are used to cutting, twisting, bending, holding, and gripping wires and cables. Combination lineman pliers. This is used to gripping, holding, and, cu and cutting electrical wires and cables and even small nails. They are used by linemen in doing heavy tasks. Yung combination lineman pliers, um, ito yung ginagamit sa, ano, sa wire na kahit anong wire, kahit mabigat, ganun. Kasi kaya niyang higpitan or hawakan. Tsaka... Ito yung madalas ginagamit ng mga nagwa-wiring talaga. Diagonal cutting plies. This type of plies is used to cutting fine medium and big wires and cables. Itong diagonal cutting pliers, ano, ito yung naggugupit kahit makapal or maano yung wire na maliit ganun. Basta siya yung nagpuputol ng wire ganun. Long nose, needle nose pliers. This is used cutting or holding fine wires. This can be reached tight space or small opening where the other pliers cannot be reached used to making terminal loops or copper wires. Yung long nose or needle nose pliers, ano? ito yung uh, naghawak ng wire tapos kahit sa sobrang 
dikip ng ano masikip yung space kaya niyang hawakan niyo yung wire kasi hindi kaya ng ibang place yon wire stripper a tool a tool used to removing installation of making size wire ranging from gauge number 10 to gauge number 16 yung wire stripper uh, ginagamit po to sa ano sa size na 10 gauge 16 gauge. Tsaka doon po pag inikot mo, pag ginamit mo po, pag inikot mo siya, uh, lalabas po yung tanso. Electrician knives. A tool use can be removing installation of, of medium size wire ranging from gauge number 10 to gauge number 16. Ang electrician knife po, um, di siya kagaya ng wire stripper na iniikot. It, Ito po kasi yung electrician na parang mano-mano. Ganun po. Full push rule. A tool used removing installation of medium size wire ranging from gauge 10 to gauge 16. Ito po yung ano, yung magsusukat ng, pwede ka magsukat ng wire, ganun. Hanggang number gauge 10 to gauge 16. So, Cross cut saw. A cross cut saw is specialized hand, hand saw for usually cutting wood across the grain. Cross saw include the blade and a handle. Ito po ay ano, ragare na ginagamit lang sa pangkahoy. Hack saw. This, this tool is used to cut metal conduit and armor cable. Yung hakso po, ito po yung ginagamit sa pangragaring bakal. Spirit level. A spirit level is device for testing to see the surface is level. It consists of plastic, wood, or metal framing containing a glass tube liquid with the air bubbles in it. Um, ito po yung ano, yung yung nagpapantay ng isang bagay ano, Siya po yung nagpapapantay ng isang bagay. Nyari, yung lupa, siya nagpapantay nun. Tsaka, gawa siya po siya sa glass tube. Tsaka, yung laman po niya may tubig tapos na may hangin sa loob nito. Power tools. A power tool is a tool operated by extra mechanism and the source of power as opposed to only manual labor that use, use for hand tools. Drills. Drills. They, they help with the plus cutting or circular holes, types of cordless portable drills, and stationary drill press. Cordless drill, drills may be fitted with adapt, adapters to drive screw or 30 bolts or even be used as sanders. Ito yung mga ginagamitan ng ano, ng mga power, mga may mga battery na ganun. Tsaka, mas mapapadali yung trabaho kapag meron kang ganito. Power drill. Power drill. A power tool is cutting or driving tool attachment that, o that operates with electrical motor and spin attachment at the rapid pace of quick, efficient drills and drives. Dito yung ano, para siyang Para siyang lalagyan mo siya ng mga screwdriver na parang mapadali yung pagbaon sa kanila na hindi mo nagagamitan ng lakas. Ang papagana na lang sa kanya yung mga battery. Here's how it works. This part of the drill is called a chuck. These jaws inside the tip hold the bit in place as you loosen or tighten the chuck. A drill with a keyless chuck tightens and loosens by twisting the collar with your hand. It makes changing the bits quick and easy. A key chuck requires a key to tighten the bit in place. It holds the bit in place with more force, so this type of drill is usually used on heavier duty jobs. To change the bit, twist the collar to open the jaws wide enough to slide the bit in. Then twist in the opposite direction to tighten it until it stops and clicks. The trigger on the handle is your main control. A variable speed drill lets you start drilling slowly and speed up based on the pressure you put on the trigger, just like pressing the accelerator on your car. A switch on the handle will change the direction you are drilling. Forward drives the fastener in with a clockwise spin. 
Set it to reverse to back out the screws or to back out your bit if it sticks. You may also have a neutral position that locks the trigger. This prevents accidents when you're not using the drill. To drill a hole, place the tip of the bit against the surface. Pull the trigger part way to start drilling and work up to full speed as you get going. So you don't skip off the surface. Keep forward pressure on the drill. If you need to, press on the back for more leverage. Don't cover the vents or you may overheat the motor. One thing to watch out for is stripping the screw. So remember these tips. When you're driving a long screw or drilling into hard material, first drill a pilot hole using a drill bit a few sizes thinner than your screw. Then drive in your faster. If you notice the bit starting to spin on the head of the screw, stop. You might need to change to a bit that fits tighter into the head of the screw. The tips are angled differently to grip onto the fastener's heads. And make sure you're holding the drill straight and have enough pressure on as you drive. If that doesn't work, back the screw out while there's still grip left. Once the screw head is stripped, it's tough to get out without using a specialty bit or cutting off the screw. Hammer drill is also known as roto drills, rotary hammer, or hammering drills. This tool gives work to flow rapid hammering. Trust to destroy material that be brittle as well as provide some faster drilling with less effort. Yung hammer drill, ano, pareha sila ng power drill, kaso nga lang itong hammer drill, mas malalaking, malalaking ano, butas na nagagawa sa matitigas na pader. How to use a hammer drill? In this video, I'll be going over the basics of properly using a hammer drill. Now, I'll be going over this tutorial with this cordless hammer drill, but I have used many corded hammer drills as well, and they work in a very similar manner. Now, my other hammer drill that I use is a corded model, and it actually is only a hammer drill. It doesn't have any other options. But for this drill right here, it has other options. It can be a driver, it can be a regular drill, or a hammer drill. If your hammer drill has other options make sure that you have it set to the hammer drill setting now like i said it can be in this position or this position but i want to put it to the hammer drill setting that is the first step you really want to make sure that you're using the hammer drill setting um, if your drill has that option if your drill is just a plain and simple hammer drill then you don't have to set it to anything you're good to go now most hammer drills will have a forward and reverse gear obviously make sure that it's in the forward gear if you want to drill into something and if you're trying to remove something then make sure that it's in the reverse gear if your hammer drill has a torque setting you want to set it appropriately i'll just be placing it to the highest torque setting uh, for this video but you can adjust it if it can be adjusted depending on the actual hammer drill and also if your hammer drill has different speed settings you want to set it accordingly i'll just put it at the highest for this video now here's the deal when you're using a hammer drill you're probably going to be using it to drill into concrete or something that's really tough to drill into as you can see i have this cinder block over here and the first step the most important thing it's not the first step because we're already pretty deep into this video um, but the step that you don't want to miss is the fact that you want to use a drill that is appropriate for the material that you are drilling into now i'm going to be using this hammer drill to drill a small hole in the cinder block um, and i have a concrete bit on the hammer drill very simple make sure that you have the right type of bit if you're trying to drill into concrete and you're using a wood bit probably not going to work out in your favor you're probably going to break the bit and it's going to take a while to drill into it so make absolutely sure that you are using the right bit as you can see a concrete bit has this type of little uh, tip over here um it's just it's just a different type of tip um it's sort of like a not as a it's just a very different type of tip that makes it easier to drill into the concrete when you're ready to actually use the hammer drill you want to put it in the forward gear set your speed set your torque appropriately make sure that it's in the hammer mode Get it into position right here, and you'll notice with the hammer drill that you, when you put pressure on it, you can hear that right there. There's some movement, okay? And that's going to be what the hammer function does. The hammer function allows the drill to turn as it simultaneously hammers it into place. So you want to get it nice and lined up appropriately. I'm just going to make sure that we're completely on camera here. Get it lined up appropriately, and you want to press the button to start using the hammer drill and apply pressure. 
that you don't want to apply a ton of pressure because you don't want to risk um, hurting the bit or breaking the bit. But what you do want to do is apply a little bit of pressure and let the hammer action take over. Now you're going to hear a really loud sound and you'll see how quickly this drill gets this bit into the cinder block simply because of the hammer drill capability. So just check this out. I'm just going to drill a quick hole. Just listen and watch. It is indeed on hammer mode. We're just making sure. Let's go ahead and drill a hole. All right, so I just pulled the bit out early. I don't actually want to go right through the cinder block or deep into it because I don't actually need that hole for anything. I was just using, uh, making that hole for the purposes of this video. That's right, that hole in the wall right there, that's going to be there the entire time that I own this house and I'm in this garage um, simply because I wanted to make this video. Now, <clears throat> as you saw right there, it made a really loud sound. It was a really loud, almost like a grinding sound. And that's the hammer operating at a very high speed trying to drill into the hole. Now, you know what? Just because um, I love all of my viewers and I really want to impress you guys and girls, I'm just going to make another hole right below it so you can watch it in action. Again, I'm putting a little bit of pressure so the hammer drill knows to actually use the hammer function because once, once that clicks down right there, that allows the hammer drill to know to use the hammer function. That's why when I was pulling it out, you didn't really hear that sound anymore. So once again, we're going to make another hole. Listen closely and listen to when that sound stops, that hammering sound stops. You hear it stop? It's still spinning, but no sound. And the reason is because I was pulling it out. Therefore, the little uh, part right here that pushes down wasn't being pushed anymore. All that you need to do is apply enough pressure to activate the hammer, just like that. Just like that. Activate the hammer by applying basically that much pressure whenever you are trying to drill into something. And that's basically it. That is how to use a hammer drill. Power screwdriver. A power screwdriver will be merely give as the screwdriving capability that a quick efficient manner yung power screwdriver ito yung ginagamit sa pagpasok ng screw kaya hindi mo na kailangan gamitan ng lakas kasi merong ano battery nagpapaikot nito ang multi purpose handed screwdriver na may kaginhawaan at kadalian sa paggamit ay magiging isang mahalagang item para sa bawat pamilya ang kompletong set ay mayroong isang madaling hawakan na katawan na may hawakan na gawa sa insulate na goma na kung saan ay matibay, malambot at komportable gamitin. Ang disenyo ng cordless ginawa nitong posible na gamitin kahit saan nang hindi nag-aalala tungkol sa maikling mga cord ng kuryente o walang mga outlet ng kuryente. Portable na para sa panlabas na paggamit. Ang pagbuo ng lightweight forward reserve slide switch ay madaling mabago mula sa screwdriver hanggang sa pag-alis ng tornilyo. Maaring itornilyo sa anumang material, kongkreto, kahoy, ceramic tile at iba pa. Sa particular, ang katawan ay may isang LED na ginawang madali upang magamit anumang oras kahit saan, kahit na sa mga ilaw na kapaligiran. Ginawang madali ng operasyon ng tornilyo kahit ng mga kababaihan ay madaling gamitin ito para sa dekorasyon sa bahay, pagkumpuni ng bahay, pagkumpuni ng makinarya, mga gamit sa bahay, dekorasyon ng DIY, maginhawa at mabuti para sa pang-araw-araw na buhay. Basic electrical materials develop and instructed for special purpose such as to control the flow of current in electrical circuit, carry the electrical current from the source of the load or current consuming apparatus, hold and secure wires to picture inside the outside houses and building, and protect the houses, building, appliances, and instrument for any destructive or the convenience outlet a device that acts as convenient source of electrical energy for current consuming appliances sa madaling salita ito yung ano extension main plug a device inserted convenience outlet to conduct electrical current a plug flat cord is attached onto it on one end and the other end connected to current consuming instrument or appliances Yung melt plug, ano, siya yung nag, ano, ng convenience outlet para magkaroon siya ng source of electricity. 
lamp holder. Device I hold protect the lamp are also also called as lamp socket, receptacles. These are come in many design sizes. These are qualified as flash, hanging, weatherproof, art chain, and surface type. Ang lamp holder po, siya po yung nagpo-protect po sa ating bombilya para hindi siya, mag magkaroon siya ng lock. Tsaka siya rin yung, isa rin siya sa source ng kagadaanan ng electricity para magkaroon ng ilaw ang ating mga bombilya. Which, a device that connect and disconnect the flow electricity current in the circuit. Yung switch po, siya yung nagbibigay ng korente sa mga ilaw. Pag pinatay niya po yung switch na yun, magmamatay din po yung ilaw. Tsaka pag inon niya po, magbubukas din po yung ilaw. Fuse. A circuit protection device that automatically blows then cut current when the overload or short circuit happens. Yung fuse po, siya po yung nag, ano, nagpipigil sa short circuit para hindi po mangyari. Circuit breaker, a protective device used to automatically blow and cut the current when the trouble in the circuit such as a short circuit or overload occurs. Yung breaker po, siya yung sa buong bahay nyo, meron pong isang ganun. Kapag aalis kayo ng bahay nyo, pwede nyo siyang patayin para iwas sunog. Junction box, an octagonal shaped electrical material wherein connection or, or joints the wires are being done. Junction box po, siya po yung nagkoconnecta ng mga wire. Utility box, a rectangular shape, metallic or plastic. Material in which flash type convenience outlet and switch are attached. Flat cord. This is a complex and stranded wire used for temporary wiring installation and commonly used to extension cord accessibility. Yung flat cord, ito po yung extension wire. Yung nagdadaloy ng kuryente para mapunta sa pupuntahan niya. Electrical wire conductor. Electrical material that could be stranded wire. Which is the made of multiple strand joined to make a single wire. Solid wire. Is made of single strand of copper of aluminum wire. These are used to wiring installation inside the outside the building. Ang dalawang uri ng type ng wire, mayroong stranded at solid. Yung stranded, ano, isa siyang wire pero marami siyang, ano, marami siyang pagdadaanan ng wire. Pero yung solid, isa lang siya. Cundit pipes, electrical material used to passage wire for protection and insulation. Ito yung, ano, yung pipes na to, ito yung nagpo-protect ka sa wire para hindi mabasa ganun. Clamps, electrical materials used to hold and anchor electrical conducted in proper position. Siya yung ano, nag, nag gumawak ng wire para hindi, mag, para hindi lumailay. Connector used to attach to metallic or non-metallic conduit to junction or utility boxes. That's our lesson for today. Thank you for listening. God bless everyone. Ingat.